All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko episode 11, the season one finale. Uh, if you guys haven't already saw it, uh, they announced that season two is confirmed, uh, either in production or season two is coming. Um, earlier on today, I saw it on Twitter. So, looking forward to that very much. Uh, last episode was very good. Uh, we've got Kana, uh, Ruby, and Mem at the idol event. Um, obviously, Kana has been made basically kind of the center of the group, which isn't necessarily the captain of the group, uh, which I was kind of speculating whether or not that is the case. But um, yeah, she's gonna she's made sense of the group. So obviously, she's very nervous about the whole thing. On top of the fact that she found out Peon uh, or it was Aqua in this case dressed up, and she basically fell for him again. So yeah, that's fun. Um, but yeah, she's nervous about this. But Ruby's like, hey, we're gonna have a good time. We're here together. You don't need to worry about failing. If we fail, we fail together. But uh, yeah, that takes a lot of the stress off her in this case. Overall, very excited for this episode though. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Is this going to be a new character on the show? The way they're like framing her and gave her a name and everything. Oh shit, it's a really hot stage. Oh god. Why is this stage meant to be really hot? It's like it looks like it's outside on a roof. Ah, uh, so like I said in the last episode, there's fans of the previous B Kamachi here. I wonder what he's gonna think of it. I wonder if he's gonna see Ruby and see I in her. Oh, there is. There, everybody's hella sweaty up here. Maybe it is hot as shit. Oh, true. M Mem's bringing a lot of people in. She's got red hair. Why does she not have the red glow stick? Is this really a thing? Like, lo logistics of the colours of glow sticks in the idol industry? Oh, we're getting a whole- we're getting the whole ass dance feature! This is cool. Wow, the animation. Let's go. Bro, they're gonna, they're gonna be like one of the best idol groups here. Nah, kinda show your stuff. Come on. You got this. Come on, step it up. It's gotta be Kana that changes this dude's mind. Oh no, it, wait, what? It's Ruby. Yeah, it is Ruby that he sees. <laughs> He's got red glow sticks. <laughs> I mean, not only she did she like learn all her dance moves from I, but she's literally I, basically. And she loves this shit. Oh, we get another one? Okay. Oh, come on, Kana. Show your stuff. You got this. I can't remember if I mentioned it in the episode, but that was so funny fucking trashy what her mom did like oh your your grandpa's sick i've got to go and see him and like live with him what about your daughter the fuck trash ass mother and got shit on eye oh is that aqua oh that's fucking cute i was just thinking like what if aqua's here oh <laughs> it's got the dance deep bro he's sick at it <laughs> Bro's been doing this since he was a baby. Bro, he sticks out so much. That's funny. That's so fucking cute. Oh, good job, Aqua. <laughs> I don't know if it was the whole audience or the dance or the song. Mostly Aqua there, I think, but it made it so hype. It was so funny. They're definitely going to make it big. I'm hyped. Or the animation they put on uh, Aqua dancing there. I fucking love it. it. Makes me laugh so much. He was so serious about it as well. He does love his idols though, to be fair. Oh, well, one specifically. This being Oshinoko and that being like a really fun start to the final episode, but we still have much more of the episode to go. I'm kind of scared on what might happen. Yeah, definitely. It's probably really good for the first time in public. Oh, 
Exactly. That's good. I like that. How long's it been? What? Did you really think all this time was a real relationship? Why didn't you just ask? <laughs> She's so relieved. Oh, Mem realizes. Aw, oh, and she adorable though. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, the girl in your group, come on. You're going to be spending so much time with Kana here. Oh, what's she doing now? Oh? Yeah, it worked. I can't tell if Kana's hat game is strong or not. Like, she has lots of wacky hats. <laughs> he looks so bothered and unbothered at the same time. Bro has a lot of talents, like when it comes to acting and stuff. <laughs> She's loving this situation. He's pissed. <laughs> Is it just like the, the shading and shit? I like never properly noticed the red in his hair. Yeah, it's meant to be like the, the lighting, I guess. He definitely went through a lot. Yes, literally. Wait, what is this? Oh, yo. Oh, is this what uh, Akane is going to be in? So this is how Aqua is going to be hooked into it. But why does he? Why should he say yes? I mean, he wants to get in with the theater company, I suppose. Aqua just on on his more side quest route right now. Well, actually, it's more like the main quest, but it's by doing side quests he gets to the main quest. <laughs> Creepy as hell. This is your way into the company, bro. Oh, I miss that face. Yeah. Even more on screen love. Oh, it's literally Kana. Wow. <laughs> Wait, Kana's in the play? That's true, actually. That's really dumb. You need to, like, schedule your posts. So she is in it. That's awesome. Oh, she's pissed. Oh, these do these two not like each other? God damn, the bitching. Ooh, Akane jealous. The beef is deep, as well as the fact that they both like Aqua as well. With how obsessive she is, Akane is probably the better actor or actress, right? Oh shit, they're both obsessed though. Shit's gonna be crazy. Oh, is this the fucking guy who sp spoke like weird English or weird Japanese, whatever? Who are these? Who are all these characters right here? Oh, is she visiting Eye's grave? I don't need to see this again. Uh, thank you, but no thank you. Find him and fuck him up. I hope the revenge is actually fulfilled. Like, I hope he actually kills him. So many anime just forgive these people. Like, I want death. <laughs> right, so that was Oshinoko episode 11, the finale. Very good final episode. Um, we didn't get like the dark twist that I was wondering about at the start of the episode, but that's fine. Uh, we got a, a good setup for season two. Um, we've got uh, more on screen time for Akane, the, and we've got our in for the theatre company for Aqua. And slowly but surely, we are getting closer to our goal, hopefully. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, I hope like this. The, <laughs> I'm I'm not the only one that thinks this, right? I hope it's not like uh, we'll find out like who the dad is. We'll find out a reason why he maybe did this or whatever. I literally just hope it's like pure revenge. Aqua fucking kills him because he killed him in his previous life as well. So he did two things to him. Um, I mean, technically killed him in a previous life. Like the stalker killed him. And obviously he was egged on by the stalker. Um, or the dad egged on the stalker is what I mean. Anyway, you know what I mean. So yeah, like Aqua needs to get to get his own back. Honestly, this dude does not deserve to have like lived a full life right here. Um, yeah, and it's gonna be interesting to find out eventually who he is. Uh, but overall, very good final episode. Definitely looking forward to season two. I want to thank you guys so much for watching along with me this season. Uh, stick around for more anime this summer season as well as Oshinoko season two when that comes out, whenever that is. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an nice rest of your day and peace out.